Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is time for 7 Minutes in the Morning. And look at that. Back, just like that. You can put that up there. Hey, uh, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a Wednesday morning installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. I kind of feel like I said talk radio a minute ago. Anyway, this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you get your daily dose from me. If you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, awesome. That is excellent at some point. Or maybe watching on YouTube, listening on SoundCloud at some point. Head over here to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can join the conversation. Do what Joe has done already, gotten out ahead of the pack, and drop a comment in there and say, Good morning. That's where all of the um, conversation occurs. <laughs> so, man, yesterday, got got down to do the radio show yesterday, and you probably recognize this. I pushed out the radio show through seven minutes in the morning. <laughs> you know, one little setting, and you get all kinds of weird things happening. I don't know. So anyway, let's hop into our topic of the day today. Uh, this week we've been talking about focus, and on Monday I kind of set up the conversation that we we hear all the time. You know, you just need to focus, a little bit of focus, and you know, all, all these things about we need to focus, but nobody ever teaches us how to focus. So that's what I want to work through this week, giving you very specific and tactical uh, steps on how to focus. Now, I'm going to say today we're using the acronym T for time, energy, and attention. In fact, <clears throat> I did it again. I didn't get the the uh, the download guide link ready the way that I should have. Dog on it. Uh, we'll work on getting that while we're going here. But there is a. a, a uh, a note-taking guide that you can download, take notes with us as we go through the week this week. But uh, yesterday we talked about time and how to manage your time, and one of the tools that you can use for that is the Pomodoro Method. We talked about apps, but don't let apps hold you up. you got a timer. You can even go get a kitchen timer and set the, you know, the timer for 20 minutes, and bing, when it goes off, you can move off and do something different. Um. Today I want to talk to you about energy because, one reason, because it's the second letter in the acronym T. But really, um, one of the first quotes that I got from Tony Robbins that I really liked, that I wrote down and started trying to figure out how to apply is, where focus goes, energy flows. So what the things that we focus on are the things that gather our attention or said another way, the things that are, are, are our energy, the things that we are expending energy on are the things that we are focusing on. All right. So here's, here's kind of the, the thought behind energy and I'm going to give you a specific way to kind of manage it. We each have um, an, an energy tank, right? Think about it like a uh, like a fuel tank, um, and, and every day that tank is at full. At some point during the day, as we move through the day, we begin to delete that tank, and the, the hand goes down from full, and it's making its way toward empty. You, you know, some folks will take a nap in the middle of the day, whatever. Uh, find ways to, may, or maybe it's go to the gym in the middle of the day. Find the way to uh, refill that tank but then it, it's still going to go down so that at the end of the day, that tank is done. And then and then that tank is gone. We don't get to save that for tomorrow. It's gone. Tomorrow we get a brand new tank, kind of like time, right? So the trick here and the, and the thing I want to, to ask you is how are you using your energy? What, you know, what are you using it on? If you're because we all have these energy windows where, man, we, and for me, it's like, you know, in the morning when I get up, you know, I'm, I'm up, I'm going, I've, I've got energy to get things done. By lunchtime, you know, 
I can tell that I'm at, at half a tank. <laughs> And maybe I'll get a little bump right after lunch, but then by the end of the afternoon and into the evening, you know, I'm done. Part of that's because I get up at 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. But I know where my energy windows are, right? The Where I can afford to spend that energy and give the best results, create the best results, right? So first question for you is when's your, when is your uh, best energy window? Is it in the morning? Is it in the evening? Some people, it's at night. Man, they can come home after work and eat dinner, and all of a sudden, they're juiced up to 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. All right, great. As long as you know that that's your window, okay. So that's the first question. When is your your energy window? The second question is how are you spending it? If you come home and you get you know juiced up and, and you're pumped up and ready to go, do you spend that energy watching TV? I don't know. Just throwing that out there. If your best energy window is in the morning, do you spend that, you know, sitting in the swing drinking coffee? Figure out, uh, knowing when that energy window is is just the first step. The second step is understanding how you're using it and are you using it to create an outcome? If you want to, if you buy... Oh, here's a good example. I'm sorry, I was looking for a good example. You you can buy an an inexpensive bottle of wine and an expensive bottle of wine, right? Well, if you do that and you're going to, you know, choose which one to drink first, I would submit to you you drink the expensive one first so that you can enjoy it. Cuz the second one is you know, not going to be as enjoyable. You'll be a little dulled, right? Why would you do that in the opposite direction? And it's the same with your time. If my best time is over here and this is not my best time, why would I wait till over here to try and get work done that's going to create my outcome, right? So know when your best energy window is and then make sure that the way you're spending that energy window is relevant to the outcome that you're trying to create. Now, in order to do this, you first have to have control over your time. It goes back to what we were talking about yesterday. All right, if you don't have control over your time, then then knowing when your energy windows are and how you're using them is completely irrelevant because you can't you, you you can't do anything with that. So you have to get your time under control. How you use the time you have, get your time under control. Then we begin to get our energy under control. Now there. It, it, and this could easily turn into an hour show, and I'm trying to avoid that. One of the things that we get stuck in here is, you know, if we if we have a day job, we're very likely selling our best and highest time windows to somebody else. All right? Now, I want you to think about it that way specifically. Right? You don't have a job where someone is paying you. You have... um you have a transaction going on where you are selling your best and highest time. Are you being paid enough for it? So this is one of the reasons why I'm such a huge advocate. If you want to create the life that you crave instead of just letting life happen to you, you have to control the means of your own production. And that is where having this business comes from. That's why I've got this business slant, right? So just take a step back today and look. What are my best and highest time windows? What are are the ones that work best for me? And they might be 30 minutes long. They might be three hours long, right? But you have to make that assessment for yourself. And then once you do that, how am I using those? Okay. Now, if you're not using them to create your outcomes, that's where your time management skills come in. And how do I, now how do I manage my use of time to change how I'm using that best energy window? Okay. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, if that wasn't clear, be sure and leave them in the comments. I'll answer those to the best of my ability. Today is Wednesday. That means the coffee shop show is coming up at nine o'clock. Be sure to join me and Eric. It'll be uh, among other places right here, or you can look for the coffee shop show.com. Or maybe it's not the, it's just coffee shop show, coffee shop show.com. Get you the right place on Facebook. You can join us for that show. 
I'll be back here again tomorrow where we talk about attention. The A in the T acronym. We've talked about time. We've talked about energy. Now, how do you manage your attention mm, in order to create that outcome that you are looking for? I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.